Welcome Quadrature fans. Today we will continue with our Jason Zimba proof of uh, Pythagoras theorem c squared equals a squared plus b squared and we will do so using the cosine function as the basis. So previously we've used the sine function and now we will use the cosine function. So snap! And snap! We have cosine alpha equals cosine of beta minus beta minus alpha. And you can notice that beta minus beta minus alpha, well, the beta cancels beta, and the negative of a negative alpha becomes a positive alpha. So this is the same equality. And uh, we are using the uh, difference angle formulas for the cosine and the sine. Cosine. Uh, Alpha minus beta, cosine alpha, cosine beta plus sine alpha, sine beta. And like similar, sine alpha minus beta would be sine alpha, cosine beta, minus cosine alpha, sine beta. And what we do is a simple plug and play substitution. You've got the first argument, the second argument. And so that's what we do. We have cosine of the first part, beta, and then the second part is this cosine beta minus alpha. And so that uh, gives us this term, plus sine beta, the first part, sine beta minus alpha. And that's the expansion of this cosine difference angle formula. And further, we go further expanding. We have the cosine beta part and the sine beta part. So now we have to expand this part, cosine beta minus alpha here and sine beta minus alpha here. And so we do that in these two lines. And so cosine beta in parentheses, cosine beta cosine alpha plus sine beta sine alpha. That's our cosine expansion rule, difference angle formula. And likewise, the sine beta minus alpha, that expands to sine beta cosine alpha minus cosine beta sine alpha. Simple plug and play. You got the first part, second part, substitution. Now, fortunately, uh, there's a cancellation here that happens. We've got cosine beta, sine beta, sine alpha. Cosine beta, sine beta, sine alpha, but a negative sign. So fortunately, this cancels this. And we are left with cosine beta, cosine beta, cosine alpha. And sine beta, sine beta, cosine alpha. Well, we can factor out this cosine alpha out, leaving behind this cosine squared beta plus sine squared beta. And of course, the cosine alpha and the cosine alpha cancels out to a one. And so we get our famous Pythagorean uh, equivalent of the Pythagoras the trigonometric equivalent of the Pythagorean theorem, which is 1 equals cosine squared beta plus sine squared beta, which is the same as c squared equals a squared plus b squared when you plug in the ratio version. So that's Jason Zimba's proof of uh, Pythagoras theorem using a trigonometric methods. And of course we are um, relying upon the uh, cosine and sine difference angle formulas and those we got previously in our previous videos essentially using this kind of a diagram very simple and uh, so that's it none of this depends upon a previous knowledge of the Pythagoras theorem so we avoid circular reasoning so that's a good thing Thank you.